Hello and welcome to this BB Education cooking tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're taking a simple classic layered shape, the uniform layer, but adapting it into creating this modern soft mullet shape. So again, you can see the back is isolated on the radial section, and then we isolate the front into three zones, working off the parietal ridge forward. So we're going to begin now at the back, but we need to put some subdivisional sections in, isolating where we want to change our cut line or where we want to in increase the length. This all starts around the nape section. We take a round line descending from the front to the back, so higher at the back, getting lower towards the centre back or nape. The first step with the actual haircut is taking a vertical section, a central profile section. That's working directly across the back from the top of the crown to where we've isolated our descending round line. So the advantage of having a vertical, a vertical shape that is round means that the length is not increasing or decreasing traveling vertical. This is giving us the uniform shape. This is giving us an interchangeable layered feel to the haircut, making our lives very easy when we come to blend in our mullet shape. A horizontal shape will pivot from the initial profile section now we utilize over direction to control the horizontal shape in this instance due to the fact our sections are vertical. The shape horizontal is round. So we're not over directing it forward or backwards, but we actually want them to meet directly in the middle of one another. As we complete this section, we're going to release the bottom section, which essentially was the descending round line. Now I'm going to pick up a feathered razor to help me design and sculpt a short to long distribution or cut line to ensure we can keep some length but blend out with a scooping motion so there's no weight line or obvious disconnection. What I've found by working vertical is that we've always got a little bit too much length. So to create a more blended shape, we're going to follow the descending round line, finding a guideline from the shape we've cut, elevating to that guideline and razoring off the excess. Notice I'm always removing the previous section. So if I've got section four and section five, when I've cut the five, I would remove four and take six and use five as the guideline. So you should only ever have two sections at once whilst you're doing this. Same as the other side, I've now completed. So I'm able to go through using my razor to design and sculpt in my chosen cut line. So once the back is finished, we're going to turn our attention to the top section. But where's the guideline coming from? So we're going to use a central vertical section from the back 
combine that into a central profile section from the front. So that essentially is our guideline. This profile section is going to act as a guideline. So now I'll groom all the hair directly over, making it easier for me to take one section at a time. I elevate the section straight up and I cut to my guideline at the back as well as the profile section. And again, you can see here we're following the shape of the head as it curves. We're going to repeat this on both sides. Once finished, don't be tempted to cut the fringe just yet. We will come back to the fringe, but once we've done the sides. So we're going to release the side sections and remist if necessary. We're going to groom a small horizontal section from the top down, acting as a guideline. We then take a diagonal back section, which will curve to the, to the back. The ideology here is that we'll take roughly an inch and a half in from the hairline to preserve the outline, and we'll curve backwards and you probably guessed it. The idea here is to leave out some hair so we can retain our mullet shape. So here's our section. Our section at the way is going to be cut more uniform, which is the front section. The section just above the ears can be left out to remain, if you like, the, the mullet shape. And now the sections we're working on now, we're taking a guideline from the back section. We're going to begin now by taking a diagonal back section and we're going to be cutting this section uniformed to the head shape, utilising the top section as a guideline. Moving on to the other side in the same way, we take a very small section from the top. Working as a guideline, we take a curved diagonal back section to isolate the front hairline, which is the area we're going to be cutting uniformed. And it help us helps us to isolate a section from which we're going to have as our mullet.
So it looks like we've completed this part of our shape. So we're going to look at wrap drying a bit. How would you dry it? What product would you use? Well, my advice in any style like this, in most of my tutorials, I've always said, don't put a lot of product on. It's important to assess the hair in more of a bare natural form then we can see what's needed to be added. One of the things I can see immediately is that there's far too much length at the front still, in spite of our refining with our razor. Channel cuttings is great to help you remove density and accentuate the perimeter lengths, offering more definition to the outline of your shape. But we're going to repeat this process on the opposite side, chipping away the length, slicing, putting all our techniques together to give us this great contrast between the fringe and the back. We're going to do some final assessments of the fringe with our channel cutting, which again is going to remove and flatten the density or bulk. So this completes today's tutorial, our uniform mullet shape. We really hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.